So I can't let the air stay in my head. If I let it out too fast, I hit the wall with my head, and I don't want to do that. I will hit the wall with my knees. I had the wind knock down me period one, so I needed time to split it. I need to talk for about 30 seconds. That's unusual for me. So when we go like this, I let the air go out, and then I hit the wall. Now, on airbags, you can imagine, at 60 miles an hour, your body is going 88 feet a second, one-third of a football field. Every second, 1,001. You just went one-third of a football field at 60 miles an hour. The front of the car now stops. I don't care what stops it. You hit a semi, you hit a brick wall, you hit another car, the front of the car stops. You're going at 88 feet a second. So that airbag has to open damn fast because you only have so much feet between you and the steering wheel, and it's not fun to hit the steering wheel. And then you have so much before you hit the windshield, and it's not good to hit the windshield. Most of the people I've seen hit the windshield didn't make it too far. So, you saw what people? I want to do then is somehow can get enough air in this bag. So, what I want to do is trap that. And what they didn't know this morning, period one, is that I had come in before school. I knew this quite a while ago. I do it today. I had no practice this weekend. Because a couple of years ago, I got hurt on my knee, and I, I really limped around for a day, and I didn't even tell them that. Cause, okay, but if I'm going to track me, I can't do that. I'm going to track me for seven days now. So, so you just you go, you know, I'm running like this. I hit this like this real hard. I'm squeezing now this morning, and then I get, and I left the air out like that. No, this morning I didn't get it. I left my hand stop. They saw it. So we're going to take my momentum. It'll run pretty fast. The first one will just be. This is my body. Oh, not screwing around. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your body. I don't let girls do this. I'll let the boys. I'll not let the girls do this. So now I'll do a practice. <laughs> no, you take a uh, you take a real hit on this. I don't want that. So I'm gonna just take a practice run. You can be it, but it's gonna be a better one. This is just get my cut up a little bit. I'm gonna send it on YouTube. Okay. We'll see. Huh? So I'm gonna do yeah, a real fast. Ready? Okay. Well. I'm not ready. Do it. Okay. <laughs> Do it. Okay. Well, I'm tell watch. I'm not telling you, but I'm finding the air leak. There was an air leak just now because I can't have that. I can't have it come out too fast. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Marshmallows. This is a practice. Use a new bag. That might be. Because if I put a hole in, I am. But then it's leaking. I don't like that. You're wrong.
that. I didn't feel that. I still didn't feel that. I never hit that. Oh. Got the whole thing, Mr. Colonel. Did you see you both back? Wow. Wow. Oh, it felt like, oh, have you ever been knocked out in boxing? No, no, no. I'll send it to you as soon as we're done. No, send me the real one that he does. I will, as soon as we're done. Yeah. 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 I wasn't good in high school. I, I really didn't do good in science. And guys said, but you know a lot of science. So Hewitt really, honest God, took that into mind. And Hewitt went to college and learned physics. But he decided, I don't want to teach physics the way we learned it. The way I learned you had to be a damn good mathematician, okay? So Hewitt developed what we called conceptual physics. The school at Ridgewood where I left, we were rated as one of the top ten schools in the nation in the 70s and 80s in innovation. He would came to us and said, I've got this new physics class I'd like to pilot, and since you guys have a lot of experimental evidence, you know, a lot of research, I'd like to do it in your school. Well, I'm teaching chemistry. So if you open their book, you see a guy named Marshall Ellenstein. He went to Maine West, and he and Marshall Ellenstein are still buddies to this day. Okay, make the story real short. To um, get stuff going, he did a lot of this junk. Okay, I don't know if he ever ran into the wall. I think he's that stupid. But he did a lot of things not too smart. He made videos with this kind of stuff. So one of them is he put a bed of nails. Every inch in any direction there's a nail, and then he would lay on it. He'd let people walk on them. But the one that really got him is he put a cement block on his chest, and he had his partner slam a sledgehammer to break the cement block. Well, if you do it right, nobody gets hurt anyway. He gets no holes in his body. The cement block gets broken. The sledgehammer doesn't hit him. I did that with uh, Danny Castellano, okay, except I wasn't on a bed of nails. Danny Castellano, I held a cinder block at my chest, and Danny, was, I trusted him. He was a crazy kid, but I trusted him. He's a smart kid. And he, he put a dent in a wooden bath, okay? Broke the cinder block, and all I'm holding on my chest when we get done is a piece of cinder block here. The rest is falling on the ground, and the kids are going, oh, shit. <laughs> but it didn't hurt me, but it hurt Danny, because if you ever played baseball, the bat flew back, and he had that, whatever, in your hand where it tingles. It never hurt me at all, not at all. And I told Roger, and she's running out of time, I will not do that anymore because if you miss, I'm in the hospital for over a week. If you bring in the Tetra stuff, I told him I might do this. I need to have my face protected, okay, and I want a chest thing on. That takes away some of the effect, right? You know, I've got chest protector. But I don't really need the chest protector. I want the face protector, and I don't want to get the chest Let's go. <laughs> and, but watch what happened with... This is with uh, Hewitt. The guy missed. The guy missed and hit Hewitt, and he's on the bed of nails. Put Hewitt in the hospital for a couple of weeks because the guy hit the sledgehammer. Hit him number one in the body with the sledgehammer. Two hit him, and where he was on the bed of nails. Uh, that's a true story with Hewitt, and he still went back and did it. I, I mean, man, that was because we knew that you never saw it because he was not interested in putting that. But what he did do after that day, he put disclaimers in case anyone ever went out to do this. 
prior to that, he didn't have discipline. Don't do this at home or don't do this, you know, without supervision. Prior to that, we didn't have them. But when he did that, he put those on there. So, one more time. I'm going to have my medicine. I like it. The, the toughest thing is to let that air out, and that's when I let it out too soon, okay, at the right time. Because I really don't want to bounce back in there. Either. So that's what I'm doing when I do all this, and then getting my courage up. Did I run fast? Run fast? I thought so. Ran fast? Run fast enough? Yeah, just a little while ago. That hit real hard. Really hit real hard. Got hit real hard just a minute ago. Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Ready? Okay. My <laughs> body. Here, feel right feel yeah, yeah, there I'm go. switching. Cause that's yeah. the, 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 see, I've done this long enough to know that something bothered me. No, no, I'll check. Yeah. Because I do stupid things, but I must have taken a pretty good whack ago. A good while ago. We were talking about what you do sometimes, see, right? So I went back last night and I turned the lights out and I walked up my steps trying to remember, remember I'm going to split level, how many steps? And I, don't, I don't, didn't know how many there was. So I'm counting as I'm going up and in my brain, I'm trying to spell my brain, do you remember how many steps there are? You know what I'm saying? Now you go up and down steps without counting them. Subconsciously you're counting them. Absolutely counting them. In sports that's so crucial that you deal with the kids that are doing subconscious things. And I get to the sixth step and my brain tells me there were six and I wasn't sure. And I stepped, and sure enough, that was the end of the steps. But my brain had told me there were only six, and I'm in the pure dark, not knowing how many. That's fun to do stuff like that. Oh, yeah. No, because you've got to know. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Did you hear recording? Jack, I can't even video. No, not really. You're doing the whole thing? Yeah. Really? How long are you helping me mix? It's 12, it's 12 minutes right now. How many gigabytes are on it? Uh, yeah, I've got enough. Uh, I think it's only like three megapixels. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Let's go. Are you really? Okay. Whoever wants to do this? Okay. 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 My last time. Ready? Yes. I know. It's not that Somebody, one of the guys want to do this? One of the guys want to try it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You don't have to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Somebody wants to or not? Yeah. That's okay. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I will not. No, I'm okay. I'll video you doing it. No, I'm okay. Okay, here we go. Did you?
hard again. Yes, upload. Number two. 